Hi, and welcome to another presentation of Tech for Everyone, free training in tech provided by eTrain. Today's presentation is about CPU sockets. We're going to find out what are the main sockets in use and why is it important to match CPU to socket type. Anyone who's ever gone out to build a PC from scratch will know that matching your CPU to your socket type on your motherboard is very important. Well, everyone knows where to find the socket on a motherboard, and there are many different designs, but there are a couple of form factors that are somewhat standard. One of the first ones is referred to as a pin grid array. You can see in the photograph here, you've got an array of tiny holes that are going to accommodate the pins that you will find on the CPU. So you drop that CPU into that socket. It makes contact through those holes to basically the rest of the motherboard. On the CPU itself, you can see in this photograph the array of pins themselves. As I said, the pins are on the CPU, the holes are on the socket, and they come in various designs as we come out with new designs for our CPU packages, courtesy of Intel and AMD. Now, what if we reversed everything? What if we kept the pins in the socket and the contact points on the CPU? Well, that's exactly what you get in a land grid array. This photograph is showing the pins in the socket itself. And this photograph over here, you can clearly see the contact points on the CPU itself. So what we've got going on there in land grid array, the pins are on the socket and the lands, those are the contact points, are on the CPU. It is less popular than the PGA, but you will still find it in older PCs. Now, both technologies make use of zero insertion force. In the past, it was very hard to put um, packages, CPU packages on motherboards. Sometimes pins would be bent and all that sort of thing. So this zero insertion force or ZIF operates on the principle that no force is applied to the CPU when placing it in its correct socket. But you still do need to take care to align the CPU to the socket correctly. You can still cause some damage if you don't align those things properly. On this CPU, we can see a tiny triangle indicating that that is where you need to line the package up with something on the socket, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So you should be looking for a triangle or spot on the front of the CPU package to line up with something on the socket. Now on this socket here, you can just make out a tiny triangle in the corner there. That's where you're going to line the CPU up with, drop it in, and no force is applied. We simply hold the thing in place with a tiny lever that you can see at the top of the package there. So in summary, most CPU packages are either based on two types of socket, either LGA or the land grid array or PGA or the pin grid array. Both make use of zero insertion force but you still do need to make sure that your motherboard and CPU are matched. Very important indeed. I want to thank you for listening to this presentation of Tech for Everyone. There is a free PDF study guide available at www.tsquareg.net forward slash eTrain. I hope to see you there.